Rolling? Oh, I have always wanted to go to Nashville, so that so getting to come there is going to be exciting well, for hope me. Well, you're not in some, you know. Some, okay. I want to go to the Grand Ole Opry. I want to see friends. Uh, there are people that I know who live there. See, I want you to go to a club with me. There's a real good one that's got great live music. And I you'd can love it. go out with you. I'm taken. We'll have him come too. You know, we'll, we'll get a big car. <laughs> okay. You, know, say, hey, you can come. I don't mind. I can share you. <laughs> have you always had this much self-confidence? You appear to be someone who's very self-confident and self-assured. Were you always that way even as a little girl? I think I was um, debilitatingly painfully shy for a very long time in my life. And when I got successful, I got known for a particular part. The part that I got known for was such a brazen, smart aleck, wild, strong woman that I hid behind that character for a while in the public. I had a lot of bravado and was really, and I started to realize, you know, there was a big part of me that was like that, that just was dying to get out. And I started to kind of get my feet about me, and it, it got a lot easier and a lot better. Do some people make the fatal mistake of underestimating how smart you are? Oh. I mean, take, think that you're just pretty and that's stupid? That's such a loaded question. Um, Have you ever been treated pretty and stupid? Yeah, but that's so great because I get a 10-minute head start. <laughs> well, that's true. That's interesting. Have you ever been compared to Clint Eastwood? <laughs> well, people say to me, they come in here and say, oh, you know, you're like a female Clint Eastwood. And I think, no. I mean, he's so fabulous and so unique and... He is the best. So who do you look for as a role model in something like this? It's new territory. That's just the thing. There wasn't anybody to look to. It was really scary. I mean, I got out there and thought, how am I going to do this? How am I going to play this? Then what? And so I started recognizing that the character I was playing was going through the exact same crisis and that it would be just fine and to trust that not to get too woo-woo, but that like my, my destiny is that, was to go there, was to be that, and the rightness of it, and just to do my best in an unfamiliar situation. Trying to figure out what to do next in Hollywood on this uncharted path it has to drive actors and actresses crazy. And you seem to take a lot of chances. Is mm -hmm. that, that obviously has to be a conscious decision on your part, or someone's. Well, it is a conscious decision. Is it? Kind of, I guess, it's a conscious decision on one hand, but on the other hand, it's so reflexive to my personality. I like that. They're, but they're calculated risks. I don't take chances, you know, I'm not going to, <laughs> someone came to me with a movie called like, One Good Man and asked me to play the lead. It's like, no, I think I'd rather play Lassie, you know, I'd probably <laughs> get further. But, you know, there's some, some, uh, some things that I think are appropriate chances and if I'm going to be better, I have to take them. One way or the other. Yeah. That's right. That's brave, and it's very good, though. Oh, thank you. I look forward to seeing you in this Bruce Spiritsford movie and the Scorsese thing. I bet that's exciting, too. It is. I'm very You're going to have a good 1995, it. aren't you? I hope so. Very good. Thank you. Thank you for coming. Right. Okay. Thank you, girl. It's nice to All talk right. to you. Thank you. Well, my friend is doing his...